Hey, what's going on guys? It's Butterbar here. Welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, we are getting in depth into kill streaks. There was all different types of kill streaks, 12 in total that we got to use in Black Ops 4 for weekend one and weekend two. And I'd love to get into depth of talking about, you know, how they were used in the game, uh, how many points it actually costs to actually use them in game, um, and hopefully some changes and some updates that some of these kill streaks definitely need. I mean, especially for, you know, being worthwhile and being able to earn them. Um, and you know their implementation on the battlefield. I think some changes need to be made to some of them uh, But I definitely want to talk about them get you guys my opinion on you know um, How they were in the game and I would love to know from you guys What you thought about all the different type of kill streaks that we got to use in the beta So let's get started. So let's start with the first one Which is the RCXD now I'm gonna throw out different numbers and their you know point streaks or kill streaks Whatever you want to you know call them um, for this video But it's gonna be covering just over you know a regular point streak where it's not the comm sector Device, as well as the point streak for using the comm device which I, I'm gonna say before even you know talking about it I definitely recommend if you are somebody that wants to use your kill streaks more often and have them easier to be able to use I definitely recommend that that comsec device but that is something that I will cover in another video so the RCXD so the RCXD is just like what it's been for the past couple of black ops um, is this RCXD car with C4 attached to it that you can drive around the battlefield and explode so the cost for it without the comsec device is 500 and with the comsec device is 350 so it's actually a really easy kill streak to get especially if you're getting kills you're capturing objectives you're using your abilities that will give you points if you're assisting teammates like you are with crash or you're dealing damage like fire break um, it's actually really easy to get this kill streak um, the only thing that I kind of actually noticed with the RCXD I don't know if how many else anybody else notices um, I definitely had trouble going up stairways I don't know it, what it was but something about the RCXD and the Mantis I always had trouble going upstairs I would have to usually use the boost for that RCXD and also I know a lot of people ran into like fire um, the, the flower plants and everything this everything that was just laying around people were running into it and it would just explode so um, I know that was definitely one of the kill streaks that people were having a lot of problems with um, I don't know if they actually implemented more health to the RCXD I definitely noticed it took a lot more rounds to uh, actually blow up um, from weekend one to weekend two so I don't know if that was implemented and it wasn't uh, talked about um, or maybe it's just maybe this is my imagination I don't know um, but yeah the RCXD first kill streak costing between 500 and 350. After RCXD, we have the UAV. I think that everybody knows exactly what the UAV is. It's going to identify where people are at on the map for a brief time. Um, and especially in this game where Fog of War is a big thing that I know a lot of people are kind of being upset about, um, it's kind of nice to have that UAV. You know, it ranges from 550 um, if you're not using ComSec, and if you're using ComSec, it's going to be 400. So it's actually still a pretty cheap um, kill streak that you can get pretty easily again with capturing objectives and getting kills and using your abilities. It's really easy to get a UAV with that ComSec device. Um, this is definitely a perk that I know a lot of people are going to use, just like I said with Fog of War. Um, the only counter that you have to worry about is Ghost. I know a lot of people were running that. If they weren't running Dead Silent, um, they were running Ghost to kind of stay away from the, all the UAVs. Again, like I said, it's kind of easy to get to um, if you're running that ComSec device, so I definitely understand. But yeah, man, UAV, I definitely run it on all of my classes. Even if I made a slight change to my kill streaks by changing uh, my higher kill streaks, I always had that UAV ready to go um, in my inventory, so I definitely recommend recommend anybody that's trying to get into those high kill streaks UAV is the way to do it next is the care package now the care package is going to range from 600 to 500 depending on if you're running the comsec device and this thing oh my god I've never known a more generous care package since I don't maybe the modern warfare two days my god I, I cannot tell you how many times I got a you know strike team or mantis or or even a gunship from time to time out of a care package. Now, I don't know if it's going to be implemented that way in the regular game release, or maybe just because it was the beta, they wanted to tr see if you know people were getting out some of these higher KD or uh, these yeah these higher kill streak um, rewards. So they put them in care packages so, so people would be able to use them. But man, they were generous. Oh my goodness. So again, this is a one thing. If I'm not running a UAV, I'm running a care package because I love the randomness that I get. You know, you can, you have a chance to get those strike teams or stray fronts and whatnot and especially too if you're running engineer this is a great opportunity to really get into those high kill streak uh rewards and be able to use them on your enemy and it's definitely a really good thing to have so um another recommendation care package is the way to go um if you're wanting to get into those high um tier kill streaks 
After that, we have the counter UAV. Now, I was actually running into a lot of teams that were running the counter UAV. They would use the UAV and the counter UAV, so it was just kind of disrupting the map um, anytime I'd play against people that were actually running this mixture of counter UAV and UAV, and it was definitely like, oh my god, man, this is a pain in the butt for, you know, how important map awareness is. Um, I definitely understand teams that are running this. So, for the counter UAV, that's going to range from 650 to 550 so it's not too terribly bad but I definitely recommend I mean again if you're wanting to get in those high kill streaks I mean you can run a care package get the chance of running you know getting a counter UAV or maybe if a care package drops and it is a counter UAV you can always change it with engineer but uh, yeah I mean if you're wanting to disrupt the map on the enemy team and have uh, you know have them not know where everybody is at it's definitely a great time to run counter UAV if that is the goal in mind is to hide your positioning as you're moving Next is the Hellstorm Missile. I have to say this is actually one of the fun <laughs> kill streaks to actually use in the game. It's very powerful. It's very easy to achieve to get to this kill streak, and it actually will help you too getting into those higher kill streaks with the strike team attack chopper, um, strafe run, gunship. It's really nice to always run a Hellstorm Missile. Now the Hellstorm Missile is going to split into different um, missiles depending on how many people actually lock onto um, as you're guiding the missile down. I know the one thing from week one to week two is that they actually buff. Um, how you know its capability of being able to track people um, I know that was a really weak point in week one um, so I'm really happy they buffed it in week two and you I definitely really you really do notice how many people had actually tracked from the two weeks um, and it's really nice to see that it got that buff now that kill streak is going to um, cost you between 850 so pretty high uh, well, you know when you're not using uh, the comsec device to 600 it's a huge cut um, in points from you know running it and not running it almost a 250 um, point difference it's definitely amazing to see you know what one uh, you know equipment piece will you um, you know use um, in Call of Duty and will definitely get you those higher kill streaks. So I definitely recommend this thing. It's definitely an amazing thing to use. Not only can you use it on, you know, attacking, you know, players, but you can also use it to attack different uh, equipment. I mean, hell, there'd be some times where I'd lock on to different players, hit them with the uh, the explosive uh, missiles that come out of the main um, Hellstorm missile, but as well as use that main missile after hitting other players, taking out an attack helicopter, trying to take out a position where I know there's a barricade somewhere nearby. So it's definitely, there's all different types of implementations um, that this kill streak has that's very useful and I definitely recommend it um, as one of the kill streaks to use. Next is the lightning strike. So the lightning strike is going to cost between 850 to 650 depending again on you if you're running comsec or not. Um, and I have to say I don't know you know its position in the kill streak list. I don't know if I actually agree on where it's at because I'm going to get towards the end of the video and talk about you know the hellstorm, the mantis, the kill the lightning strike as well as the century. I feel like those four kill streaks are just kind of in a weird order. And uh, I just want to talk about it and see if you guys are thinking the exact same thing because with the different buffs and the way that these kill streaks are used, I just feel like it's just it's very weird for how much they cost and how effective they are. But anyway, so for the lightning strike, you're going to be popping open your laptop. Um, you're going to be pacing, you know, placing three different points on a map where you're actually going to deliver a missile at. Um, I, it was okay. I, I felt like it wasn't really that effective, at least for me. Um, you know, it's really nice as soon as you open it up um, and you're about to use a kill streak, you get an identification on where the enemy is at but I feel like just the blast radius or how effective the bombs were um, just was it was not getting me the kills that I really wanted so um, it could be user error I'm not gonna take away from that um, but I just felt like I don't know if anybody else felt this way too that I just felt like the missiles for the lightning strike were not powerful enough um, for again of how high of a kill streak it is after the lightning strike, we have the Mantis. Now, the Mantis is going to cost between 950 to 700. Um, and the best, you know, uh, comparison I can probably give you um, to the Mantis is the Cerberus that we've had um, in previous Black Ops. I mean, it's going to be patrolling the map either as the AI or um, you can actually control this kill streak uh, going through the map. Um, it does not have a machine gun, but it does have a four-round rocket launcher um, that you can use on it. And it's very effective. It's very effective on clearing objectives. I mean, I'm a huge control player, I, you know, even hard point and domination um, if you're wanting to capture these points and clear the enemy off these objectives the mantis is the way to go it actually got buffed in health um, I can definitely speak from experience that I've shot several rockets three to four rockets at a mantis and the dude this just, just stares at me and shoots rockets back so it's one of those kill streaks you kind of have to watch out for but if you're wanting again to clear objectives and get into those better kill streaks um, I can't recommend more the the mantis to get you there 
Next is the Sentry Gun. I know we've had Sentry Guns throughout the Call of Duty series, so this is just, it's nothing new for this gun, except for, I know in previous Call of Duties, we've only had like maybe uh, an 80 to, uh, 180 degree um, you know, radius uh, of protection with the Sentry Gun, but from what I understand, um, that I've actually seen this thing go 360. You know, you can actually cover an entire objective or position, um, and you don't have to worry about people sneaking up on it and the Sentry not being able to defeat, you know, players that come around it. The only problem is, I feel like the, these Sentry Guns are really weak. I don't know what it is, you know, for how much the health uh, the Mantis has and how powerful it is. You know, the Sentry Gun, I really wish it did a lot more damage. I wish it had acquired targets a lot faster, um, and I wish... Again, with how much it costs, I really did wish it had a lot more health. Now, the uh, Sentry Gun is going to range from 1,000 to 750. Uh, the Sentry is really nice. It's really nice if you're wanting to. I, I used it quite a bit when in control, and I'm not trying to attack objectives, and I don't want the enemy spawning or, you know, coming from behind an objective, and I don't have to worry about that. So I've been using the Sentries to kind of protect me, um, protect my flanks, protect my rear, uh, whenever I either I'm trying to capture or defend an objective. Uh, the one thing I would actually say, again, as a disadvantage, is of how long it actually takes to, to set up. Like, good heavens, I just never, I never experienced in any Call of Duty of how long it took to actually set up a Sentry, but for some reason in this game, um, I've definitely taken a lot more time setting these things up just because of the way it's um, kind of implemented, the way that it's being used in this Call of Duty. So I'm hoping that we see some changes to that because it is kind of a pain in the butt to kind of set this thing up and actually get use out of it. All right, now we are actually in the really good kill streaks that I'm very excited but to talk about. So um, the next one is the attack chopper. The attack chopper is going to range from 1150 to 850, and uh, man, I, I tell you, night and day comparison between weekend one and weekend two with this attack chopper. I'll tell you what, weekend one, I did not think this attack chopper was worth a damn. This thing was terrible. I, you know, the one thing I kind of noticed with this attack chopper and actually using it in weekend one is that depending on where I was in the map, it would stay there. Wherever I called it in, it would stay in that position, wouldn't move, wouldn't do anything, and I was just like, really? This is what I get for, you know, getting up to a high kill streak. This is it. This is this is all this chopper is gonna do for me. Um, so it was really nice in weekend two that we got to see a buff to it. Definitely with target acquisition, being able to lock onto targets and take out targets a lot faster. I know from experience of getting shot by so many helicopters because I'm literally the only person on my team that tries to shoot that shit down. Um, but also, too, moving and evading. I definitely, you know, shooting all those helicopters down, the helicopter moves quite a bit um, and being able to acquire targets as well as avoiding um, getting shot down. So uh, it definitely, it, it, and it definitely sucks, too. It, it works two ways, a double-edged sword. Um, you know, the attack chopper is great on being able to kind of cover you. Um, but it also, it sucks because for how much overhead coverage we have um, from all these different types of kill streaks, sometimes the attack chopper is not that great to use just because depending on what map you are on, I mean, Gridlock is a good example. Uh, there's a lot of different things that are overhead that might block out the view of these different kill streaks. Again, with, you know, even the strafing run that I'm going to talk about next and the gunship that I'm going to talk about last, you know, those kill streaks you definitely have to watch out for for some of these maps that have a lot of overhead coverage. Um, and hopefully, too, in the next Call of Duty, in the, in the next maps that we actually see when the game releases, um, hopefully we'll see a better um, way to use these things because hopefully we won't have so much um, stuff in the way when we actually call these kill streaks out. All right, this next one was a really fun and cool thing to actually see implemented in the game. Whenever I called this kill streak out, it was definitely one thing that was really fun to see, which was the strafing run, which actually brings out a Warthog A10 to come out and deal damage to not only players, but also UAVs, attack choppers, anything the enemy has in the air, this Warthog will decimate, and uh, don't try to shoot this thing down. I, I tried. I put about two or three rockets in the air, and I'm like, I'm not I'm not doing anything, so I'm just, I'm, I'm just not going to worry about it. Um, so it, it, it's one thing you can lock onto, but I would definitely recommend if you're somebody that's wanting to shoot this thing down, don't do it. <laughs> um, so the strafing run is going to cost between 1250 and 950. Again, it's a it's a well you know you can you can get this thing again if you're using that Comsec device like I am. Um, I know I can't talk I can't talk about it enough right now. Uh, but again, if you're wanting to get in this kill streak and use this thing and really provide cover to your teammates. Um, and, you know, try to get, you know, if the enemy is getting a lot of these UAVs and counter UAVs in the air, get this thing. It'll destroy a lot of them, and, uh, and you won't have to worry about the enemy team calling in a lot of things. Again, just like I was saying with the attack chopper, it does suck when it comes to a lot of stuff overhead and over top the enemy because you're not going to be able to get um, the kills that you want. 
uh, but it's just definitely one thing that hopefully with more maps we'll see some improvement to these kill streaks. Now this one I had a lot of fun using and oh my god I think sometimes it would do a lot more damage and kill a lot more people than I ever could in, depending on the map, depending on the enemies. Um, it was definitely amazing to see these guys work which is the strike team. Um, I know the strike team can go both ways depending on <laughs> depending on I guess who's using it and how they're being used by the AI um, in the game. I know um, Thunder was having a lot of complaints, a lot of um, faulty strike team members um, in this game, but oh my goodness, man. I, I think maybe had like one match where the strike team was not just decimating and demolishing the enemy team. So the strike team is going to cost you between 1350 and 1000 If you're, again, if you're running, you know, uh, you know, no comsec, you can't, you, you, you don't really, it's really difficult to kind of achieve this thing unless you're doing really well, your teammates are working with you, um, because if you're running the comsec device, it's almost getting, you know, you're getting a sentry gun, um, <laughs> when you're not using the, uh, the comsec device, you know, cost-wise. So the sentry with no comsec is a thousand, but if you're using the, com the, the comsec device, the strike team's a thousand. So it's definitely achievable, it's definitely a great thing to use, um, and I really enjoyed it. Strike team, you guys put in the work and I loved it. Now the last and most iconic kill streak of them all is the gunship, the AC-130 gunship that we've seen from Modern Warfare 2 and Modern Warfare 3. It is definitely a great thing to kind of see this get kill streak back. Um, and, and using it, it was a lot of fun at just getting the nostalgia of you know getting back into this AC-130, taking out the enemy, and oh my goodness, it was just a lot of fun to use. Now, when you actually call this kill streak in, unlike previous Call of Duties where you know you had the AC-130, when you're using this one, um, it actually has two rounds for the 105 uh, cannon. So it's really cool to t pop off two cannon rounds um, when you actually get into this kill streak. Now it's going to have the same um, rounds for the 40 mil and the 25 mil as previous ones. You know, um, you're going to have four 40 millimeter. Um, cannon rounds and then for your 25 millimeter um, minigun you're gonna have about two to three seconds of bursting with that gun to uh, to use so it's definitely uh, it's an easy cycle between all three guns it's definitely a lot of fun to use especially um, when you're just wanting to just demolish um, everything inside and it's a really cool thing to actually see from the ground um, compared to what you're seeing in the air now this thing is going to cost you at the at the highest you know point possible, which is 1,600 points, or at 1,250. Ah oh, man, uh, the only complaint I guess I would have about the gunship, and I know this is the one thing that's been covered by other people, is that it is very difficult sometimes to actually see people when you're in that gunship. Um, enemies do not highlight like they used to in Modern Warfare 2 and Modern Warfare 3. Um, just because so many people are using cold-blooded, it's very hard to find out where people are at. So unless you're playing control or, you know, hardpoint domination, something to where you know where the enemy is going to spawn at, it's really hard sometimes to actually acquire some targets just because you can't see everybody on the map. So I think the one buff that I wish that the gunship would be able to do is be able to acquire targets a lot better. Um, just like compared to the Hellstorm. The Hellstorm is able to, to you know, acquire targets a lot faster and a lot easier. I wish the gunship was just that way as well because of how high it is um, and how much, you know, how much decimation you can cause with it. Um, it definitely would be uh, a buff to that and make it a lot better and a lot more desirable for people to get. Now, the last thing I wanted to talk about is I just feel like for some of these kill streaks, um, you know, the Hellstorm, the Lightning Strike, the Mantis, and the Sentry, I feel like that those four kill streaks are just in a weird setup in the Call of Duty kill streak list right now. Just because I feel like the Hellstorm is a lot more powerful than the Lightning Strike, I feel like the Mantis is way more powerful than the Sentry Gun. And, and the cost right now between each kill streak is just very off. I feel like those four kill streaks need to be readjusted if they're wanting to move towards that, you know, wanting to, you know, balance everything and get everything, you know, better for um, other players. Just because out of anything, that is the biggest thing I noticed, um, you know, earning these kill streaks and using them. Um, just because it was just, it wasn't consistent for how powerful some of them are. And the cost for something like the Century that was really weak when somebody tried to take it down um, compared to like the Mantis or something like that that was much cheaper but really hard to take out. So that was my only thing, guys. That was my only thing with the killstreaks. Other than that, I had a lot of fun. A lot of fun acquiring these killstreaks. I have a lot of fun 
using them. Um, and it was just one thing that I'm really looking forward to when playing this game in October. I know that's the one thing that a lot of people look forward to is the kill streaks. I'm really happy with the list that we have. I really, I, you know, I do wonder if we're going to get any more kill streaks, um, you know, new kill streaks when this game releases. I know we'll di get different weapons and cosmetics and all this stuff, but it would be a really cool thing to see if maybe they might be implementing, you know, more kill streaks added to this list of 12. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Hopefully, it was, you know, informative. Hopefully, it, it helps you towards, um, you know, when when Black Ops 4 finally releases. Hopefully, you know, um, with the numbers and what I kind of thought about my opinion on the kill streaks. Hopefully, this better informs you on what to expect for the game release and uh, what to get to, you know, look forward to. And uh, like I said and been saying it this entire video, Comsec, man, Comsec, Comsec. I don't know if I can say it that that much, but. Uh, man, yeah, if you want these kill streaks, definitely run that piece of equipment. So, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. If you guys did, please drop me a like. Let me down down in the comments below what you guys thought about all the different types of kill streaks. What would you know? What needs changes? What needs buffs? What me might need a nerf? Um, and I would le love to read them and you know get to know from what you guys are thinking. Um, what to expect? Um, you know, in coming uh, the coming days, the coming months um, that we have until release. So. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Have a great rest of the day, and I will see you guys next time.